watching Invest Comics TV and when I think of you, I touch myself. Hello, I'm Sean from Famous Faces and Funnies. And I'm Sebastian from InvestComics.com and this is Fick. That. I don't know. I felt like I wanted to add something to just saying thick. So I popped my collar. This wasn't enough? <laughs> I forgot we did that. And you wouldn't let me hang out Vampirella. Nope. Sexy Vampirella. We can have Helping Hand hold Vampirella up in front of the camera. Like, Damn you, Helping Hand! It's a conspiracy. Pop your collar around this place. People go all mutinous. And not like AVX mutinous. See how I tied that in? Nice. I really don't want to do the show today. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie, that was that might be it. Just then, goodbye. We're done. We're done. We're done. <laughs> and then just like Good that, fifty something episodes. Since, since it's that Michelle, she's like Yoko. She's tearing the band apart, man. Michelle's awesome. I don't even know. She, she was here today. I don't think she's real. She just texted me. Maybe you're not real. I'm not real. Fun. See, it's ominous. If you're not real. We might review a book at some point. Eventually. <laughs> I'm an uncle. <laughs> Baby X. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Wee Baby Ava. That's actually her full name. Her legal name is Wee, Wee Baby, Baby Avia. Wee Baby Ava. Ava Renee Sorensen. She's so tiny and cute. Uh, Avengers vs. X-Men round 10. It was a hot mess. It was... Oh. So this happened. Yeah, stuff. And then... Scott... <laughs> and Magneto... Oh. And... Dude. Go Away... A dragon... dragon. <laughs> And, um... The Moon. Yeah. And The Watcher. And you know how we like to tell you that most of the Marvel crossovers start out really cool? They kind of reach a... Meh, and then... Looks like we're in the... Part of this. So we're two more issues. It doesn't come yeah. out for a month, though. Yeah, but then we'll get stuff like Uncanny Avengers and... We're Avengers right Uncanny Avengers. I'm fully behind that one. It could be good. Stop. I'm behind that one. I'm and I'm excited about the new Hulk, in, 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 in Indestructible Hulk. Mark Wade making Hulk Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Banner, the brains, Hulk, the weapon. Brilliant. What was the point of Jason Aaron's Hulk run? There was no point of Jason Aaron's Hulk run. And that's, that's, that's the thing. Avengers 29. Stuff happens. Um, We're not in the, the very loving Marvel mood right now. No, it's... Um, I don't understand. They're doing, once again, that thing where... That... Uh, was it last week that the... Well, two weeks ago, when did the um, screaming child happen? <laughs> well, I think it's figure itself out. <coughs> when did the um, Illuminati issue of last week something happen? Last week, really liked that. Thought that was really good. This is a contrast to stuff that that, that the way Charles acts in there doesn't necessarily mesh up. I didn't think 100 percent with the way Charles acts in that, and you know they're both written by Bendis, so you'd think Thor's were, coming. Yeah, it's Thor coming. Saga number six. Oh, so, oh, so, so, why didn't we start and, off with holy this Holy crap. And, oh, and then, and then there's the will turns into Liam Neeson. Yeah, that was cool. I don't know who we are. <laughs> I will kill I will At find the end? Him. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, I gotta wait two months? The narration, this, <laughs> this little baby's narration is the best. She's very just, well spoken for a baby. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean? like 16 years. <laughs> uh, two months? <laughs> <laughs> We're seven. <laughs> we, we, I need we, it now. We can use that now. It's good oh, stuff. Yeah. It's good stuff. Saga, so good. Uh, before Watchmen, Rorschach number one. I loved it. It was good. It was good. It was just good. Hey, have you read Joker or Luther from these two? Azarello and Vermeo? Vermeo, maybe? Yeah, you should read this because it's fantastic. So, so, so good. And so, so, oh, yeah. Lots just, of herms. Yeah, it is Herman. Her, Herm all over. Herman. We should name Herman. It's Herman all over. Nightwing number 12. Oh, it's, it's always good. I didn't like the fill-in artist too much. I mean, it wasn't that bad, but you was used to Eddie Burroughs for so long. And so. I, uh, I, I like, what's her name? The son of the, the daughter of the be guy that killed Or the banker? Yeah. yeah. I like her. I like... Lucius is in it. This has a resolution to, like, six different things. Okay. And uh, they're all great, and they all resolve in that perfect way that goes... And this resolves that, but jumps right off into, you know, and we're going to new places. This book is so good. So good. Second best DC book behind Batman. Higgins. Ooh. Daredevil 17. Not Chris Sum. It's my already. Amazing issue. Gorgeous artwork. 
Mark Wade is brilliant on this book. Last time I said I was a little. It, it, it's, it's, it's all right. It's uh, I like that. Is, is Daredevil the Madman without fear? And uh, the, the the story uh, picks up. He's had his falling out with with Foggy, and we're still a little foggy on whether or not Matt's being set up or Matt's as crazy as Foggy thinks he is. I'm leaning towards the Matt's being set up because. Because I, I like that, but the crazy one's cool too, and it's Mark Wade, so it could be either, you know, because Mark Wade likes doing that whole, and then the hero went nuts <laughs> kind of story, so could go either way. Green Lantern 12, it's back, it's back to its excellence. That's all I'm saying. Hal Jordan, I, he's the greatest something of all time. It's in the book, man. It's in the book. If the annual comes out in two weeks. I can't wait. And ooh, you get. Some real, real commitment, whether he wants to admit it or not. Some real commitment from from Sinestro. Yeah. yeah, and oh, those those guardians. Oh man, those scheming little bastards. Oh, they're like the, the problem is the they, they've always been, you know, scheming have their own little yeah, their own little schemes going on. But Jeff Johns is a detailed, universe thinking enough writer that they've he that he's actually able to make them much grander scope. Scheming little bastards than they normally are. And Green Lantern Core Twelve. Thank God. Not only is the is Alpha the Lantern, Lantern story over? over. Yeah, it doesn't end well for the Alpha Lantern. Thank God. But oh my God, talk about scheming again. So you didn't read this? No, because I don't care Ooh. about the Alpha Lanterns for the eighteenth time in two years. Everything that happens, and when it's done, Wait, did they it kill just gets... I'd be upset. Oh man, so, cool. So. The Guardians just kind of sit back afterwards and go, yeah, totally knew they were going to do that. This is working out great. And I'm like, what? And you know, they're gonna, you know, next issue is the Zero. We get Guy Gardner's New 52 origin, and then they with Guy Gardner's life after that. So Revival number two. I did not like the first one enough to read number two. Oh, no, it's good. It's good. Uh, I'll believe you. It's, this is it's not my thing. It's a zombie story. With an entirely different take than your usual zombie story. Oh, it was cool. And it's uh, and and I like these characters. I like the the, the, the creepy dead sister. It's all it's all good. Avengers Academy number thirty-five. <laughs> what the Marvel Marvel now, baby? I want Marvel then <laughs> because that's a great book and it should never end. And that storyline is so good, so good. I say it every time with this book. Christos Gage gets into you know he's like like a microcosm he gets inside <laughs> he gets inside the characters and makes you feel that they are so so real so multi-dimensional and it's so sad that they're gonna end this book and give them to somebody else who's just gonna screw all up if there's any left at the end of the story holy crap Wonder so. Woman 12 continues to be the best very good book that's and the best unexpected appearance I did not expect to expect see a hint of somebody that nope. I'm not What's her name? I, don't know. I, I think so. I said. I, I think that's. Because right. I, I was going by the last name Zola. I think that's. I was like, what? That's the, Zola's like the cheetah's name. So I, I thought that was going to be. Yeah. But then we get this, and I'm like, wait, is that I really one of the whatever? Woman because, I don't know. But either way, there's somebody, and it makes a sense. I never would have thought to have that person show up or that whole. Yeah. Group of people. Yeah, I wasn't expecting. Start showing up. This is a perfect. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. Cross star. Brilliant. Has a relevance. Cross star number one. Cross star number one. Weird book that I forgot I ordered. So I probably didn't order number two or three. So this may be <laughs> the only. This may be the only issue. Based that on I what I'm looking at, I don't blame you for not ordering. No, I, I I don't always remember everything I order if it's not. I laughed so hard I teared thing. up. Yeah. No, it was actually it was actually okay. It was, it was pretty good. And uh, there was some weird spelling and uh, the the character talks. He's obviously got some kind of an accent that they were going for. You know, he says Egypt a lot. Sometimes it's with two E's, sometimes it's not. He um, tried. But, but I, liked, I liked it. It's a detective story where um, Crossstar is this hero vigilante guy, and this detective is like, he's, he's retiring because his wife's always afraid that he's going to get himself killed on the job. So he takes a desk job in a small little town instead of the big city, um, where it turns out he, he may very well be the only non-corrupt uh, cop there. So when the vigilante comes, comes along, one shot. comes along. Yeah, it, it's kind of, it, it's kind of a, you know. But like, 
literally. Like, Commissioner Gordon found other cops who were, okay, you guys, we need to take out the bad ones. This guy's like, ooh, do 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 Oh, everyone's in on this? <laughs> so, it, it was pretty good. Extermination number three. This, is, this book I like. This is a lot of fun. This is the, the aliens have destroyed the world, and you've got a, a, a Batman type called Knox and his evil enemy, uh, the Red Reaper, who's like a techno bad guy. He's, you know, not like, you know, dance and strobe lights, ecstasy. But techno, like you know, technology kind of bag. It was that kind of technology. Yeah, be all, that'd be awesome too. <sighs> Fabian, I don't know how you say Nisenza. How do you let me down? I was excited about this because I like I like Fabian Nisenza's writing. Uh, Kid Flash deserved the shot to, but no, this was the same kind of right up at that Titan. Plus these characters, these Sorans, these three teenagers with dinosaur as. They just, they scream bloodlines characters to me. I opened it up to one page, looked at the artwork, read the first panel, went, no! Yeah, it was, it was, it was much like Kid Flash, and it was the fastest decision to not read a book ever. I, I, I tried. But I wanted even, to. I'm like, I even, love Kid Flash. I love even Kid Flash, Kid Flash knows. It's like, I, I guess, you know, it's like he tries to warn you. Uh, I keep telling you this stuff about the Titans book and, and, and whatever. But Kid Flash himself, after you're done with this story, says, if you're a masochist, Check out Teen Titans number 12 in one week for more on Terex's quest. All right, if you're a masochist, because you would, it, it, yes, thank you, Kid Flash, for warning me. Harbinger number three. This is so good, but that There's a screaming baby. Because the kid is clearly out there reading Harbinger number three right now. I might kick a screaming baby. And his, no, kick the baby. It's not my nephew, niece, 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 not my niece. <laughs> it's been a long 72 hours. Harbinger number three is seventy-two out. <laughs> Harbinger number three is fantastic. It's it so is. Good. It is so so good. This was everything that it was leading up to. Finally, I know, and it ends with the appearance of one of my favorite characters from the first time around in Harbinger. Yep. I'm a happy boy. Yeah, that, happy. that made me laugh. This, like, this okay. makes me happy. Bloodshot number two. What? Surprisingly, what? I mean, I liked the first one. It was it was, was really good. What? But this, holy the crap! It's, it's so just, good. What? Not as good as Archer and Armstrong. But, what? but Valiant, right now, they 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 have they, been, they haven't done anything bad yet, which means when they finally suck, it's gonna blow. But everything they're doing, yeah, so far. beautiful, beautiful. Captain Marvel number two. I continue to really like the story and the writing. Kelly the is doing a great job. The art, while I I. I, I warmed up to it a little more than last time. I still don't feel that it's doing the whatever, and I, I, I don't like the way the when she gets this like armor helmet thing and it's like you know like the like the old um, 90s Batman movie the shields. I, I don't I don't like the way that looks. Oh whoa! Oh. That's the that's it. That's what I'm talking about. But otherwise, it's, it's a good read. It's just not always a good look. Amazing Spider-Man 692. Did you know next week he turns 50? He looks good. It's good for 50. You know, he's, he's, he's still still married, he's not married. He's, uh, you know. He's all over the youngins. I mean, what happens is you can look youthful if instead of getting a divorce, you just make a deal with the devil. Um, We're never going to forgive you. Damn you, Ruin the best Marvel movie. <laughs> but, um, I want to believe that the geeky guy can grow up, get superpowers, and a supermodel wife. This, this is, you know. How do we turn this, into this a one more day rant? Why? Okay, I just, it's because we all love Spider-Man. But no, this was an interesting twist on the usual lizard back and forth, and uh, it's got potential to... to um, oh, he looks like the normal lizard, not like the movie lizard. It, it's got potential to, to be picked up on again, hopefully by, by, by slot, because someone else, I don't think, hey. could pull off what he's hey. trying to do as well. Hey. It leads into the... the we're going to have the Goblin War and, and Hobgoblins and original Hobgoblins and pseudo hobgoblins and all sorts of goblins. Deathstroke? Why is Deathstroke in there? Because Deathstroke used to be the hobgoblin and now he's uh, the devil spider. Duh. Um, I like the name devil spider. That's fun. Also, Spider-Man is just... He's just a dick to Mobius. Like a, a yeah. constant dick to Mobius. If Mobius snaps and kills Spider-Man, I'll be like, yeah, okay. Uncanny X-Force number 29. So sad. So, so sad. It's so, it's so time travel. I really hope somehow Remender sticks with this book or sticks with the X-Men universe so we can see this future unfold and see all these things actually happen. But <laughs> just, yeah. oh man, and at the end, the reveal, it's like, saw that coming, but still awesome. It just continues to be the second or third best Marvel book behind Wolverine and the X-Men. Basically what we're trying to say is Marvel books and, and pretty much Wolverine most books. Wolverine and the X-Men. We, we either <laughs> love a book 
or we hate a book. There's not a lot of in between. There's no in between. Us. We're not big on gray. Yeah. <laughs> we are black or white. So what's this book? The Victories, right? Oh, I'm sorry. It's Michael, Michael Avon, Avon Holmes. The Victories. The Victories. That was fun. Yes. yes yeah. I I don't know how I felt about this. I liked it. I, I, I I'll I, read it. I don't know who I like more. The the character. The, the, I just kept reading the, it thinking the hero of the powers. book, Faustus, or the, the wolf guy? villain of the book, the the, the, the jackal. Jackal. With a tattoo, just a heart. That's his mom. <laughs> Love it. He was inspired his, by Pulp Fiction. His tongue hanging out all the time. Is and the the story was good. It's. Uh, um, I do like his artwork. I liked it in Powers. I like. Oh yeah, I, 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 Ivan Oman's artwork is always great. Just, and he said, I just like saying Michael Ivan Oman. Uh, he he said, you know, one of my first interviews was him. I interviewed him for. I don't remember. Here's the thing, book. though. Is this going to come out on time? Who cares? It's good, and it's a limited series. I can take I know, that time. But, powers but uh, he said that this is like therapy. He, he, he compared this to therapy, and the, and and it is. These these are very. That's good. These are very introspective vigilantes, and it, it's pretty good. Alabaster's number five of five. It's over, and there was a death, and it made me sad. Supergirl twelve is uh, still, still the, going. St is, <laughs> see, I'm gonna is, these two right here. Are the best super books, and I'll explain that in a second. These are the best super books in the DCU right now. I agree with them. This book. This. Did, did, I don't know about this. Did, did you read this? I'm two issues behind, but oh. I, I've been catching up. It looks like she's got a little house cleaning to do, but it looks like she, we go to the Fortress of Solitude, not the Sol the Arctic Superman's Fortress of Solitude. They have their little back and forth of man and then in a Kryptonian, blah 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 blah. And then she goes to find a piece of her ship, and we find her fortress and where it is and it's not where you'd expect and it's really super cool. Is it in the North Pole? Because no. That would be awesome. It's not there. We're not going to tell you internet read it. I still flip him? No, you, you, you passed it, but did you see where she went to find it? It looked like the place I've seen a couple times before. No. You've only seen this if you're a different easy hero. Oh! Uh, see? Yeah! See where it is? Weird. Pretty cool. Yeah! Ah. And, it's, ah. and it's just cool. Yeah, those are creepy. Ah. Uh, but it's Supergirl continues to be, hands down, the best super book in the new film. All I had to do was read the cover. <laughs> now, yeah. Um, Legion of Superheroes number 12. Woo! Finally free of the worst thing that, you, that a superhero can have to deal with. Bureaucracy and red tape. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere Javier's met. Um, and probably a million people posts. Why is that guy so Oh no! I Somebody hate posted Grant like Morrison. a couple of times ago. They're like, why, why does the young guy even read comics? He seems to hate everything. No, I hate Grant Morrison. <laughs> and I hate Bendis writing the Avengers. Yeah, I'm okay with both on, 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 at times. Grant Morrison um, ruined Batman for two years. I didn't read them. But, um,. He had to fight Prince and England Flamingo. How bad could it be? But uh, Legion of Superheroes in here, after finally getting through red tape and bureaucracy, Paul Levitz's version of Monel proves that he is the best Superman in the in, in the in the New Fifty Two. It's just Monel. Monel has just a couple of panels where he made me feel like you're supposed to feel when you're reading a Superman book. He shows up in the nick of time, it's just, oh, it, it, Starman in trouble, and, nah, I think we've had about it, we've about had it with you, boom, you know, ooh, good timing, and then he just tells everybody, get out of here, he's like, me, you know, get out of here, me and Ultra Boy have it, and they just, they just, they do, and the rookies are like, holy the crap, and it's all, it's all, it's all Valor, well, he's not Valor anymore, but it's all mon -El. Oh, New Mutants 47 is finally coming to an end so I can stop talking about it. <laughs> It's, it's okay, they'll bring it back and they'll make it another 20 issues. They, they, they had something in the future and now they're fighting the future. They, um, you know that episode of The Simpsons where uh, Homer is messing with time? And then <laughs> yeah. he, at the end he, he keeps finding all the different, he gets to all the, the worlds. Yeah, yeah, and then oh, they're, they're, they're never right. And then finally he sits down, they're eating dinner and they all start having the tongues. He goes, meh, close yeah, enough. Close enough. Well, after the last storyline, They've resolved the you know the the future that was coming and they're 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 back in but they start realizing little things. They go to a restaurant that's supposed to have a blue logo and blue theme, but everything's or supposed to be red, but everything's blue. Uh, they talk to Kitty Pride and he 
X on the costume is, is on the wrong side of the costume. And then when they say, well, we, we promised we'd get back to, to be near Cyclops since the split, and Kitty and Iceman and a bunch of the other X-Men are like, what, what split? And they're like, you know, if, when Cyclops and Wolverine had their, their, their fight, and they're like, no, no, they resolved everything. Everything's good. They, they, that's why they're running the school together, too. And they're like, oh, crap. I would not read <laughs> that book. They're in the wrong. <laughs> the timeline is, is, not, is not right. And all these little things. So it's, it's pretty good. Walking Dead 100 and 1. <clears throat> they kill anybody? No. They all just sit around going, Whoa! That'd be yeah. great. And then top, oh, that would have been a great 101st. Just silent panels of everyone doing this. There was and then a lot the guy of anger. Back there's a lot of anger taken out on people, and then it gets to a part where you think it was leading up to, and you're like, "Oh God, not more!" Oh, okay, thank God. Let's just. Huh. Uh, Kirkman just messing with you now. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> I don't know what this is. <laughs> <coughs> this is Curse of the Cortez Stone. It ties in with um, Curse, uh, um, War of the Independence. War of the Independence. The big Thank words you. on the cover. <laughs> There's words all over this cover. Oh yeah, War of the Independence. Um, but it, this is this is really good. The the artwork and this is really nice. The story is good. This has got um, the Wraith, Shadow Flame, and Johnny Saturn. I actually ordered it because I'd read. And reviewed forever ago. I read Shadow Storms, uh, Shadow, Shadow Flames um, miniseries, and it was really, really good. This, this was probably one of the better things I've seen as far as the, the War of the Independence crossover. From Dynamite, we got Pathfinder number one. The game is popular. The books are popular. So we, they, they, you know, naturally we got to the comic. Um, it started out a little slow and a little formulaic. So I, at first I thought I wasn't going to like it, and then at a little bit before the halfway point. It changed my mind, and by the last page, where you just have a berserker jumping in to fight an army screaming, Blood and Battle! I was hooked. So, it's like a clerk's when I hear berserker. Possibly. It it's got a little poster map thing in there that I really want to pull out. Alright, there's tons of gameplay stuff in it. I haven't yet. Um, X Factor number. That's where you come yeah, up X Factor number 242, Breaking Points, part two, uh, day two. So good. Such a great issue. Is this getting canceled for um, Marvel now, too? No. Yeah. It's Peter, I thought it was for some reason. The, Peter David is Peter David, so whether they, you know, sometimes they'll mess with the characters he can use, but for the most part, he sits untouched in his corner and goes, "You know, I'm Peter David, right?" And Marvel goes, "Fine, you can have X Men." And uh, thank God for that. Um, this issue is really, really good. We find out who um, the I, I didn't know the That's identity the of the White Wolf chick from the alternate timelines of. Uh, in the, the many deaths of Madrox storyline, but now she's here, and Rain is is on a quest to find her son that she abandoned, kind of freaked out. X, um, X Factor is the most underrated book in the world. Oh, it's and it's so good. It is hand down, hands down, just so great every time, and uh, no exception. Birds of Prey twelve. I really like Dwayne Swazinski. Just writes a great book, and really every does. every time he, you know, I every time I think, oh, this is starting to get you know a form. Cover it's not, and it's 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 just it's it's even the interior art. Um, it's not Jesus Sayas anymore, but Cliff Richards, right? Yeah. But yeah, but Cliff Richards, he, he does a great fella, job, right? and it's it's so good. It's so so good, so good. Fun to say. I'm not saying it. I'm not making the joke. There we go. Should I make the same joke about one of your exes that I made with the the other book? Or no? All right. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this is horror. <laughs> I just like watching you get people free. Uh, Big City Comic Studio and Xenoscope put this out. It's a graphic novel. Oh, kind of looks now, like it. Now, you know, you know, when if you've seen covers to anything Xenoscope, the idea of a book called Horror coming out from Xenoscope doesn't surprise you. But it's not what you think. What this book really is, first off, this book is so amazing. I, I read this, not sure what to expect. It was so good. I don't know. So I'm it is, him. It's burn notice for HBO, like in that... Um, it's True Blood with Burn Notice? Oh, it's... Without you know, vampires? You don't know, you know how the HBO movies is like... To, it's Hitman, okay. sex, Hitman, sex, okay. Hitman, sex. Basically, the guy was... Um, he started out FBI, got drafted by the CIA. CIA. They lay him off and say, look, he's basically, he's a killer. All right? He's the guy, when you need to get rid of somebody, he's the guy you send in. They decide, look, we can't afford like to pay you. Like identity, sort of. We, we can't afford to pay you sort anymore. No, no, he knows he, who he is. All right? And born identity, they got to find out. I'm what? This but guy, he, he, he knows. Kill right. um, okay. But uh, he, um, he, he ends up having to go to the private sector because they said, "Look, we can't, we can't pay you anymore." Yeah, he does. And what he basically he realizes he's, he keeps saying, "No, I'm not going to take certain jobs." But 
they, you know, he ends up everything from uh, like having to deal with assassins at like purebred dog shows and whatever. And he's like, no, my dignity is not for how much? And he just keeps thinking, I'm a whore. <laughs> and at one point, best best plot line ever. His handler calls him and says, look, I don't know if you want this job or not, but a, a Saudi prince who he basically crippled his organization, he, he, this guy here crippled the um, prince's organization, has decided he wants the ultimate revenge. He's going to go all Ra's al Ghul. He wants to pay him, the guy he's mad at, to sleep with the Saudi prince's daughter. The Saudi prince wants to pay him to sleep with his own daughter so that he can father a son that the prince will train to come and kill him later. <laughs> But the money is ridiculously I'd good. Say if the money is good, the, I think the I money might do is that. ridiculously good. It includes he works out health benefits as part of the package. The daughter's crazy hot, so he does it. He goes, <laughs> he's gonna father a child specifically to come and kill him later. It's brilliant. This book was so so good, and that's just one little arc. There's like a bunch of little you know things going on. It's so good. The artwork is gorgeous. Um, it's by uh, who is, it? Uh, is it Jeffrey Kaufman? Yeah, uh, Jeffrey Kaufman oh, and, and Marco Turin, and it, it even says, uh, time, the present, place, who really cares? When you start a story with two people having sex, does anything really matter? Nope. Brilliant book. Love the hell out of it. Ultimate Spider-Man Volume 1 is available on soft covers. If you've never watched this show, you don't know how much we love this book, because it is the best it's thing they've great. done in the Ultimate oh. Universe in it's, so long. It's redeemed the Ultimate Universe, it's redeemed... Um, we will forgive Bendis of anything else he writes as long as he keeps Just doing this. Just write Spider-Man. Just write Spider-Man. Stop so with the Avengers. Oh wait, you're stopping with the Avengers? Thank you. It's on the X-Men. That's fine. Uh, let's just leave Wolverine and the X-Men alone. We're fine. Yeah. We got a book this book. Is so good. I don't book really book. do this part. Oh so uh, yeah. Stand here, no. sit here and look pretty. All right, from uh, Harper Voyager. Um, like the contest, which is still going. So uh, look up one of the old ones. I don't feel like telling you the message. Tweet that, and we'll, we'll probably announce a winner next time. Um, probably. This book is it's. Uh, it's from the the White Tiger series. I, I'd read these before. I, I'd read the first series and reviewed them on here before. Um, it's about the Australian woman who ends up married to a Chinese god, and so we've all been there once or twice. It happens, you know. And it's so good. It's 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 rich with um, Chinese. <laughs> it's rich with, Whoops. with Chinese mythology. It's these really good characters, and I already liked them from the first three. This one's called Earth to Hell. Um, hell in the Chinese mythology is not exactly like hell in ours. There's a good side and a bad side. Uh, it's really, really good. The characters are great. I, I like I like these books. Um, go find them. And there's two others in this series, and then there's the, the series before. I'm already reading the, the second one to this. Loving it. Hey, uh, before I go, congrats to my little brother Shane and his fiance Katie for the birth of their beautiful baby girl Ava, and she's so precious and cute. And she grabbed my, my finger with her little tiny baby hands, and it was adorable. And I couldn't be happier for him. So that's it for this week. Bye.